All right, well, let's move on to Southern Charm star Naomi Alindo. So she is being sued for fraud and breach of contract by Alibi co-founder Virginia Ginny Cox. So uh, Virginia alleged in her court filing that Naomi had employed deceptive tactics to main, maintain control of Alibi in which they had a 50-50 ownership stakes and misappropriated earnings. She is claiming in her court paperwork that Naomi misled her about the company's finances and failed to treat the company as a separate and distinct entity. She was ultimately, so Virginia, the one that is uh, suing uh, Naomi, was ultimately ultimately fired back in May, with Naomi allegedly claiming that she never had ownership of an interest in the e-commerce brand. And she has attempted to seek employment elsewhere, but she thinks that Naomi is blackballing her. So Virginia is seeking a trial by jury, suing uh, her former colleague for 14 causes of action, including breach of contract, dissolution of partnership, fraud and defamation, and is hopeful for an award based on actual and punitive damages. Um, Naomi has denied her former business partner's allegation, but why would she be seeking a trial by jury in this case? Christina, that's usually the default in civil and criminal cases. So usually lawyers think that they're gonna do a better job with you know, whether it's six or 12 jurors, then rolling the dice on a particular judge because that judge will make the decision entirely. So usually the parties, unless they can both agree to a trial by judge, they're gonna default to a jury trial. Mm -hmm. Do you think, so who has the leg up in this case? Do you think, do you think Virginia does or do you think Naomi does? It's tough to say, because really the question in this case is, was Ginny, was she an employee? or was she a partner? And those are two very different sets of legal rights. So the reason I think Ginny may have a good case is there's at least some public comments where Naomi said, this is my partner, we're entering into a business. So if that's true, Ginny has a lot of rights, can't be fired by another partner, but you can certainly be fired by your boss. Right, so what do you think Naomi's defense um, is shaping up to be? Well, she's going to go all in on this employer-employee relationship, saying, listen, I have the right to take money out of the company. It's my company. You work for me. So you're an employee. You certainly have rights to be paid overtime, meal breaks, rest breaks. But you don't have a right to tell me when to take money out of the company or to keep you employed. I have a right to fire you unless it's for a prohibited reason. And she's not articulating a prohibited reason here. Got it. So do you think this is trial or maybe settled outside of court? I think a case like this will settle. It costs a lot of money to take the case to trial. I don't get the sense that this is a very, very valuable brand right now, mm -hmm. especially with the parties uh, pointing the finger at one another. So I can see this settling with uh, Naomi paying Jenny some money to walk away. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.